So I found this really easy way to capture and record anything on my screen. It's called EasyVid. I got it at EasyVid.com. Don't believe the hype. I'm going to tell you why you should stay away from EasyVid and it's one fatal flaw that absolutely ruins it. Coming up next. G'day, Paul from Democast Media, helping you supercharge your workflow with video. So I've been doing a bit of research on some cheap or easy to use screencast recording software and I found this thing called EasyVid, which is really aimed at young gamers who want to record their screen. I don't have much of a problem with it except for this one annoying flaw with the way it combines your media files and music. I'm going to tell you what that issue is, uh, but to start with, Here's some of the basic uh, looks of the interface. So like any other video editing software, it's got its canvas for the preview. Your timeline is sitting at the bottom there. If you want to upload to YouTube, you enter your details in that corner. And below is where the music is. And again, that's where the problem lies. Um, so to press play, obviously you hit that button to add new projects, load projects redo, undo, and uh, zoom in and out in the timeline, you use those buttons. Those are fairly straightforward. Uh, on the right hand side, if you need some help to record a specific game, it gives you that option there. These buttons are for recording the screen and you're recording your voice. If you want to synthesize text so it has a, a voice to go with it, um, you hit that button and your, your text annotations plus any media that you want to upload, you use those buttons there. So that's the basic interface. And if you just want to start with some basic recordings, you, you go to uh, the capture screen button and hit start capture now. After the countdown, it records everything on the screen. So far, so good. Now for more advanced uh, settings, uh, you can look at the microphone, your headset, if you want the recording dock to be transparent, if you want to select a specific area of your screen, you will need to change the dimensions uh, in the control panel, which is kind of annoying. You can record the webcam and you'll see that there's an estimated maximum recording time because this takes up a lot of space on your computer when you're recording and editing. So it, that part, if that hasn't scared you off yet, just keep watching. Now, something that is uh, different about this software is the use of stickers. They're just annotations that you place on the screen while you're recording. And once you hit escape or right click, I believe, it fades away. So look, some cheap fun there. Uh, this really is just for the young people who are into that kind of thing. So once you're done with recording and you want to start editing, hit the stop button. It renders the file um, for editing. And this is what you get when you start. You will get that introduction which you can remove um, but if you want to start adding text you can that's fairly easy you can change the color of the text uh, the background if you will and it adds it to the end of your project which you can drag and drop as, as you need and there are some limitations around that too uh, to render the audio speech synthesis Minesweeper that's what it's cool. going to sound like pretty cool but here's the best part Three, two, one, dead radio. Oh yeah, going with that track. Here's my fully sick Three, mind two, sweeper one, video. Radio. Mind sweeper is cool. Let's play again. Smiley face. Okay, so you get the point. That's the kind of projects you're gonna get. But here is the best part now. Although you can remove the recording of the synthesized uh, voice, this is what Two, happens one, next. Dead radio. You see what happened there? It doesn't get rid of the music. It's still there. You can do all those other things except take the music away. That is so annoying. What I find hilarious about this is that it, 
the fact that you can't separate the audio from the footage, or rather the music from the footage, it alienates and annoys the very people they're trying to cater for. They're young gamers. And there are so many videos of people trying to find ways to work around this. And I believe that there might be some workarounds, but who has time for that? It is such a silly design flaw that it is has no professional use whatsoever. It's just gonna get in your way. So unless EasyVid makes some change, uh, which is looking unlikely, I would stay away from this. I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. But you tell me, if I'm being too harsh, or if you love this thing, please let me know uh, in the comments below. So until next time, uh, remember, get understood the first time, get screencasting, and I will see you next time. Smiley face.